if you love the Lord, if you're called, if you're chosen, if he set you apart and you're discouraged, things aren't going your way. Things are just not lining up or seeming like it's adding up at all. Let me encourage you by telling you that you are not the only one. But God always and always has a reason and a purpose, a strategy and a plan. I leave you with this. No pain, no tear, no hurt, nor confusion, no rejection will be. I encourage you to rejoice in advance. If it has become way too unbearable, if the level of uncomfortability has intensified to the max, that means there is an in the spirit and God is aligning you for purpose and destiny's sake. Embrace where you are. Embrace the shift that take place in your life. He's shifting you for a reason. He's shifting you for the better. He's shifting you for good. He's shifting you because you prayed and you asked for some things. You asked for clarity. You asked, you asked for wisdom. He's positioning you to receive of him. Someone may need to move their feet. Someone else may need to make that decision. Someone else may need to do that thing that has been pressing on you, on your heart. And you know God has been telling you to do this thing. For others, it may be time for you to say yes. Someone else may be time for you to let go. Someone else may be time for you to pick something up. Whatever it is, God will reveal it. But you have to be at a place. Not a physical place, a spiritual place. You have to be at his feet. You have to be at his face. You have to be in him in order to receive the strategy and the blessing for the will that he has for you. You can't get it outside of him. You have to be in him. So, so I say to you, it's okay to not know. It's okay to feel like what in the world is going on. It is okay to have down and discouraging days. It is okay to have a little confusion. But we must understand that God is not the author of confusion. We must understand that even though we may feel these kind of emotions and we may feel the frustration and the anxiety, but we have a duty. We have so many duties. Anyhow, to worship anyhow, to seek him anyhow, to cast our cares anyhow, to cast our burdens anyway. We have a duty to sit before the master in order to get the master's plan. So I say to you, it's okay to feel these things. But we must not stay there. We must not live there. We must not pity there. We must not unpack our bags there. I love you.